Good morning, Polly's Island peeps. Today is March 8th, 2021. And it is time for your Polly's Island sunrise and surf report with Dave Clayton and Aspen this morning. We have five minutes until sunrise, which will be at 6.33 this morning. We're kind of in between tides right now. And we're at the north end of Polly's Island, looking into the Midway Inlet. And it is 34 degrees. We are killing mosquitoes this morning. Today is Make It Right Monday. You can see where the high tide came up. And not a soul has walked on it since. We are the first. It's kind of a neat feeling. Good morning to you, Jill. Aspen and I are at the north end of Polly's Island, all the way on the south side of the Midway Inlet, looking towards Litchfield. There's a little sandbar out there, soon to be bigger because the tide is going out. We got a little sliver moon right there. Good morning, Richard Morris. It's a gorgeous morning, buddy. Good afternoon, Richard. So sunrise is official, 6.33. see it's starting to form right now so the ocean is chilled down a little bit again it's 52. And you can't really see the waves right here. You can hear them though off in the distance. We have one to two footers and they're about seven seconds apart. Yes, our last week until spring. Although it's going to feel like spring today. With the sun. Out. It's going up in the upper 50s. The 
let's just watch the sunrise together. Today's good news comes from Luke 15, 7. I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. This is an exciting verse for me. For a couple reasons. One reason is it's evidence that God and the heavenly hosts and his amazing kingdom is paying attention to us it's evidence that there's rejoicing when we repent here on earth that's pretty exciting so it won't just be an evaluation at the end of life here on earth all there, there, there will be, but it's greater than that because we have evidence right here in Luke that he is paying attention and probably his angels are paying attention. And there's rejoicing in heaven when we turn from wickedness which is what repenting is. We're turning. Can I get an amen? The second thing that is really encouraging to me from this morning's good news is that this fits right in with so much of what Jesus radically preaches.
that a lost sheep won't be forgotten, that the lost sheep, that the shepherd will search until he finds the lost sheep, right? And in some ways, this is a poke at the self-righteous. Because as we all know, we all have a need to repent. So Jesus in his amazing, and this is a Jesus verse. Luke was Paul's doctor. But this is such a Jesus verse. It fits right into his radical thinking. The first will be last. And the last will be first. Because at the time, people thought, especially the wealthy people, they thought that the poor people were poor because God was punishing them. So for Jesus to come out and say, the poor will inherit my kingdom and it's hard for the rich it's so hard for the rich to find righteousness and to find eternal life this was just radical thinking Because what happens when we're poor in spirit or when we're poor, we, we have a need, right? We have a need that only God can fill. So I am preaching a little bit more this morning than normal. <laughs> But I'm so grateful for Jesus' radical message. He didn't come to save the, the healthy. He came to save the sick. And once again, we're all sick. So only you know and your Father knows in heaven what your need is this morning for repentance. So I'm going to be quiet for another five minutes and just watch this beauty with you and then we're going to sign out. Praise God for another morning of beauty. An incredible opportunity to grow closer to our Creator. If you have trouble figuring out what you need to repent for, ask your wife or your husband <laughs> if you have one <laughs> or your best friend <laughs> or just ask God.
Good morning, Lisa Clayton. We are signing out. I know it's beautiful. The shadows are cool. All right. All right. Make it right Monday. All right. Team Follies. Everybody. Aspen, come over here. Come here, sweet girl. I hope everybody has an amazing day. And I tell you what, it was just an incredible morning, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm in a little trance. So everybody just have an amazing day. What a great way to start the week. God bless you. God keep you. God help you make his choices today and every day. Aspen, come here, pretty girl. Come here, pretty girl. All right. Everybody, Aspen's being so good, isn't she? She was such a mess when we started this. But now she's listening. She's being a good girl. She's loving it. All right, God bless y'all. We'll see you tomorrow, God willing. Press finish, Dave.